when it comes to unexpected twists and turns, let's talk about episode 3. And specifically, let's talk about that crazy ending of the episode where Khonshu is no more. The gods have officially put their wrath upon him and Khonshu is now locked away. So as always, I do got to mention it. If you guys want a full hour of us talking about this episode, all of our theories and what we think is going to happen, the audio commentary is out for members after these videos go up. But now let's talk about what happens at the end of the third episode. So during the episode, we see that they are trying to find out where exactly Arthur is. Where is the tomb of Ahmet and how are they going to try to stop him? Of course, they take a counsel with the gods, but the gods aren't really listening to Mark or Steven or whoever is at the forefront because they believe he's insane. So by the end of the episode, we realize that Arthur has actually made a deal with one of the gods and that they are actively working together to try to bring upon, um, I guess, the end of the world is probably the goal here in terms of what their bigger plans are and what they want to unleash once they let Ahmet out. Now, the interesting twist here that we see right at the end is the fact that Khonshu is no more. Because he didn't listen to the gods once in this episode, he does it again. And he was told if he does this again, if he breaks the rules, he's going to be put away. Well, he does just that because in order to provide a clear line of sight and a passage to the exact location where Ahmet's tomb is, we see him adjust the stars. He restores them back all the way to almost 2,000 years ago to where the tomb would have been so, well, they can find a location. And that's forbidden. So at the end of the episode, we do see that Khonshu is now put inside of a statue and forever imprisoned somewhere in the pyramids of Giza. We don't exactly know where. It's obviously a secret tomb. Quite obviously, this is going to come into play in terms of having to, well, unlock the power again and kind of uh, go in there and obviously retrieve Khonshu and get back to stopping Arthur. But there's a lot of interesting development on the side of this as well as it relates to how Khonshu is perceived by the other gods and also that he's kind of seen as the outsider. They don't really um, like him, right? And we see that in this in full force and that there's definitely some more stuff that happened in the past that we're not privy to as of right now but obviously it's going to come into play overall this episode's ending is quite interesting because it leaves us without any powers and it's going to be interesting to see what they do in the next episode and specifically the next three because this is the midway point and it seems like we're just getting started even though so much has happened